Hi, my name is Amanda McWirt. I'm a horticulture extension specialist with the University of Arkansas. And today I'm here at the Hope Southwest Research Station here in the southwest corner of the state. And we're looking at our tomato pruning demonstration. And I'm gonna give you a quick run through of how to prune a bush type tomato and kind of what effects the pruning process can have on tomato production and why we do it. So let's look at our tomato demonstration here. We have about six plants of a bush type tomato, a variety called Amelia, that we're going to be pruning today. And then we have a comparison plot just down the row of six other bush type Amelia variety plants that we will not be pruning. You'll notice that these are planted on black plastic with drip irrigation line underneath that plastic. This is a typical commercial production system. Now with pruning, Really what we're trying to achieve is to balance the amount of energy that the plant is putting into leaf production versus fruit production. You know, the plant will produce a lot of suckers or these lateral branches that come off of the main stem. And all those lateral branches can actually flower and produce fruit. But if we allow the plant to do that, that means that the plant is going to produce a lot of fruit, but a very small size. And so if we remove some of those lateral branches, that's going to reduce the number of fruit that we get or the, reduce the number of tomatoes that we get. But the tomatoes that remain are going to be a lot bigger size and a lot higher quality. The second reason that we prune tomatoes is because here in Arkansas, we have very hot and humid conditions. And so we want to try and do anything that we can to try and open up that plant canopy uh, and increase the amount of air that's, that's moving around the plant to try and reduce disease pressure. So let's look at this tomato here. These plants um, are getting pretty big and they really need to be staked. So we're a little bit behind on that here at our, our demonstration plot, um, but it's almost the perfect time to do some pruning. We may have missed uh, the, the, the ideal time to do pruning on some of the lower suckers, but some of the top ones are probably uh, pretty close to on target. So on bush type tomatoes, what we're looking for is to identify where the first flower cluster is. And you can kind of see that here see our first yellow flower cluster that's starting to form. Now what we need to decide is how many suckers below that flower cluster we're going to remove. And a lot of this is really heavily dependent on how vigorous a variety is. I consulted with John Gavin, who is our county agent down in Bradley County, who works with a lot of our commercial tomato pro producers down there in that region. And he said that most of his producers that are growing Amelia or bush type uh, this specific bush type variety leave two to three suckers below that first flower cluster and they remove the remainder. So for our demonstration purposes, we're going to leave the first two and then remove all of the remaining uh, suckers below that. Um, for varieties that are more vigorous, you may actually want to leave more uh, suckers, but for varieties that are less vigorous, you probably want to re remove more of the suckers um, and maybe only leave one below that first flower cluster. It's important to remember that uh, excessive pruning can actually lead to physiological leaf curl, which is where the leaves on the tomato plant actually start to curl and sometimes it looks like drought stress, um, but it's actually just the plant's reaction to um, the stress of it having a lot of its leaves removed. But here exactly is what we're looking for. We can see this main um, stem coming up on the plant leading to that first flower cluster. And if we look just below that, we have this uh, leaf branch coming off and at the axial of where that leaf branch is meeting this main stem, we have this sucker coming out. And that's what we're gonna try and identify. So we said we're gonna leave two. So we're gonna leave this first one and then we're gonna leave the one immediately below that. And then we're gonna look down in the plant and remove all of the remainder. So here's our first one. Here's our second one we're gonna leave. And then this is the first one that we're going to remove. And what we really want to be able to do is go in with our fingers and just pinch off that sucker right in the, at the stem and then remove it. This sucker is probably a little bit too big. We've probably should have been out here pruning a few days ago, um, but it's not getting too bad yet. Um, but as we look further down in the plant, we're probably going to find some suckers that have really should have been removed uh, earlier on. So we're going to remove this guy as well. And go down to the next leaf blade and you can kind of see it here. This sucker is starting to get bigger. It's going to be a little harder to pinch out. You can see how 
big that next lower sucker is. Um, so we're a little bit behind. And again, I'm just going through and trying to pinch it gently and not break that main stem. Um, again, you want to try and remove these suckers when they're still pretty small so that you don't leave quite as big of a wound on the plant that could open up the plant to uh, some kind of disease infection. And I'm going to remove this one last one down here at the base. And I'm going to lay them all out here so you can see how many suckers we removed. Looks like we removed six suckers and left to those two right below um, that first flower on the plant. So again, here's our first flower back here where I'm pointing with my index finger. Here's that first sucker we left. Here's the second sucker that we left. And you can see as I go down to the base of the plant, we have removed all of the other suckers. So this is a process that you can do on your tomatoes at home to try and again increase the fruit size of the tomatoes that are set and hopefully reduce some of the disease pressure that you're seeing um, in your home garden. Hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching.